Welcome back to the channel. If you're new to the channel, welcome to the boat game. Have you guys ever been out, your rudder kick up, you break your plastic breakaway screw and you basically have to call it a day. You gotta go home because you don't have a replacement screw for your rudder. And you can't put a stainless steel screw in the rudder because it won't break away if you hit debris. Uh, if it don't break away, you could possibly mess up your boat. So uh, today I'm gonna show you guys how to fix that we're going to do a little modification to the rudder so we can actually run a stainless steel screw and never have to worry about breakaway screws tie straps antenna tubes ever again so stick around big b with ironclad rc let's get to it let's get to it i got the the nut off the rudder's ready to be pulled off the bracket all you need is a, a hacksaw and maybe a couple files of course the tools to take the rudder off it's pretty simple straightforward modification i got the cooling lines off and my steering linkage off i actually put the screw back in in the rudder all right so i can use that screw as my pivot point so we can use a, a, another screw the bottom screw to actually mark where we're going to be cutting the rudder i'm actually putting some pressure on this on the rudder bracket right here okay and we're going to move it back and forth so we can get a mark where we're going to be cutting the rudder base let's take it off let's see how it come out hopefully that worked i guess that's the easiest way to do it you know just kind of work your rudder back and forth with that screw in there or a marking tool or what whatever whatever you got to kind of mark the the aluminum all right so let's turn it around here okay so yeah it actually worked so we're basically going to be cutting out on that line okay we're going to cut that little little slither right there out okay you want it to be tight really tight so let's uh let's get everything set up so we can cut it with the hacksaw and then we'll clean it up with the file I got a piece of tape on my rudder so my vice don't mess it up. You probably have better luck if you take your rudder off the off the little little bracket right here, but I don't think I am. I'm just gonna kind of pinch it in the vice right here to save time. I've got other stuff to do. Let's take it out, check it out here, see how it looks. All right, so we got a little bit more to go on both sides. I'm just gonna use my little hobby file right here and uh, clean up my cut. So you wanna actually cut it, like round it, you know, round it off. All right, similar to the offshore electric. So just gonna use this little hobby file right here to finish it off. You guys notice I got new turn fins on my boat. I put this extra large turn fin on. Uh, the other day I was out with my son running the boat at the park pond and I actually bent one of my stock turn fins and um, I tried bending it back into shape and I actually broke it. So I'm running these extra large turn fins for right now i think they're going to be good for the boat i really liked them on my v1 i had them on my v1 and it's definitely out of commission four millimeter screw to fit in there perfect okay so we got a little more to go here just kind of put your screw in there and file down until you can get that screw to come out nice and clean and then you stop no more after that okay so the bottom one looks good so i need to take material off the top of the line
So you want it to look something like that, okay? Uh, hopefully I didn't take too much material off. We'll find out here in a second. All right, I got my top screw in, put the bottom screw in here. All right, and oh, yes. All right, you see that? Boom. Okay, we need to put our, yeah, that's gonna work perfect. That's gonna work perfect. I actually uh, filed a little bit too much off the bottom one. Check it out. See how it works. You should be able to tighten down the top one fairly tight. You know, get it, cinch it down pretty tight. And the and the bottom one, just kind of keep it, keep it, you know, snug. I guess both of them snug so it breaks away freely. All right, so I got it installed back on the boat. Okay, I'm using a four millimeter screw with a four millimeter, like larger uh, nut. All right, and just kind of cinch it down. You're definitely going to need to put Loctite on it so your screws don't back out and they'll stay like the same tightness. Okay, so when you hit something, boom, it's going to kick up for you. All right, boom. Push your nut from the other side and slide your rotor blade back in. Done. All right. That's freaking ironclad, boys. That's ironclad. I think we could do it to the Velez and the U19's rudder, too. Uh, they're designed a little bit differently than this guy right here, but I'm pretty sure, I'm pretty certain it will work on the Velez and the U19. Other boats. I mean, not just this one. Okay, you just notch it out. Boom. All right. Tighten it down. Get the right pressure on it so it's not going to kick up on you any, you know, just running the boat you know get the right tension on your on your screws your set screws here and um it's going to be it's going to be ironclad now when it kicks up and if you have that bottom screw like really tight you may you know need to like loosen it up a little bit to get the the rudder back in there yeah. boom huh got the blue loctite on there i put my plastic plate in between okay for for a little shim okay i got perfect tension on the top one and the bottom one so when the rudder kicks up with the blue loctite this the screws won't back off so that's important that way if it when you kicks all the way up you'll be able to put it back down all right i think it's gonna work i really do um my turn fins i actually modified the bracket that they came with okay i modified it i had to drill an extra hole and i had to cut it down to size okay it's gonna work it's gonna work and it looks better and um i've actually broke the stock turn fin bracket and lost my turn fin so uh you know i, I, I definitely want to make sure I, I didn't lose these because i like these turn fins i actually use these for another boat as well but um it works it works i had to grind it you know cut it with a hacksaw and then i filed it down to size you uh, know man it's starting to shape up now she's starting to shape up boys yeah so hopefully this helps you guys out with your build pretty simple modification that'll like save you some money and save you a freaking headache and having to go home from the pond so we'll see you guys next time all right big b with ironclad rc